Hello my Capricorns. <clears throat> this is going to be your reading for May 1st through 15th. <clears throat> I had a very long break. I got a lot of things done and I have new things coming to you as well. Um, I will be doing new moon and full moon readings. And I've also created a worksheet for both of those moons to help you manifest your intentions okay uh, please look out for those for the in the new moon and the full moon they may be of some use to you and your goals so we're going to jump right into this reading and pray spirit guides guardian angel divine energy universal energy what do you have for Capricorn for May 1st through 15th what would you like for them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of at this time? Only allowing truth, love, honesty, and acceptance within the space. As above, so below. Okay. <clears throat> well, Capricorns. I feel like quandary is the word that comes to mind. Fighting with making a decision, fighting with choices, big question mark, big, big question mark. The Sagittarius may be involved. They're telling me <clears throat> air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, actually, believe it or not, for some of you. That's very important. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups in reverse. The Page of Swords. Mm. So, it feels like there wasn't much movement in this situation before, and there is some now. Um, staying to yourself a lot, Capricorn. Staying to yourself <clears throat> and focusing on your own energy is what you've been really focused on lately. The problem is building friendships, relationships, having fun, maybe third party energies involved. Or you're a part of a third party. And this isn't, this doesn't have to be, <clears throat> for some of you, a cheating scandal. It could just be that you're in a friendship with two other people or something of that nature. But what's interesting is I'm getting this feeling of wanting something of your own. And because this is coming out, it just means that there's a need for you to step out of your own reasoning and your own consciousness, which I feel like is going to be hard. Because you have nothing to base it upon. Or like a springboard, you know, to, to bounce off of, okay? There definitely is some sort of imbalance in your life where growth is involved in yourself or with your relationships or something in your life and you want that to change. But you have no foundations to build it upon, which is quite interesting. But you do know that you do want something different. Something may be coming back around to you. 
and <clears throat> dealing with this energy dealing with this communication with a particular person or dealing with this situation is very hard for you but you feel as though you have to make a choice for companionship for love to be on the right side of things like this is something that you must deal with I see a lot of conflict being there that's that quandary the big question mark that you're not seeing eye to eye with this person with this situation it's not on that same level that you would like it to be and that's where the conflict comes in you're not one to make foolish risks and there may be they're telling me there is some advice that you should take foolish risks but that's not in your nature you want to build something stable and something real something that's going to last whatever this situation may be and being foolish <clears throat> is not how you want to get there I feel as though you're abiding your time because right now it doesn't fit the bill of making sense or fitting a certain mold or going in a certain direction that it should be going in. It, it's interesting because it feels as though this doesn't fit you. With the Two of Cups being here, it just means it doesn't balance you don't feel that emotional connection as you should there's something the matter with the foundations of this situation and that's what the focus is if if you want to resolve this what are the foundations <clears throat> where are you going where are you trying to get to i feel as though you need goals and steps um just kind of going with the flow is not your strong point. And that is where the problems lie. The problem may be other people's opinions, whether it be yours or on their side. A third party issue that is blocking true growth okay and this could be a vice as well this could be another person but it's almost like it's blocking the growth and creating conflict from someone making real decisions or real moves and without that being removed there it is you're not gonna get to that two of cups you're not going to get to this happy spot right can you see okay that happy spot to the place that you need to be to enjoy each other okay Yeah, you're holding on to your life the way it was and taking things very slowly and that's why you're not taking risks until you fully know. It's a decision to be in a relationship. It's a decision to choose to go any path, whether this be relationship, career, or anything. And you want to make sure that you're making the right decision because you are in control. Right? The thoughts that you manifest, the energy that you put towards something, you want to make sure that it has everything that that you need to sustain yourself emotionally and physically moving forward. That's just who you are. And that's what you're going to do. The problem before was an imbalance. And that imbalance is going to remain. Okay? until the blockages are removed third party um, communi communication interference other people's advice and opinions 
until it's just but if this is a relationship until it's between you and that person um career moves goals when it's between you and spirit and not anyone else's involvement then that's when it's going to flourish Yeah, right now the foundation has no basis. It's kind of like it's just going. <clears throat> See what happens is where this energy is. And that needs to stop or it's going to have that same cycle. It's not going to develop into anything stronger or anything better. Something needs to manifest here. The bad judgments need to change. And that's not you. This is spirit. The judgment card is a very epiphany involved card. Okay. It has to come to you. It has to come to that person and they have to respond. And that's the only thing that's going to change it around to make some solid changes within the situation. When the time is right, Capricorn, you will perceive that there is change within the situation. And that rest that you're in, that pause that you feel that you don't wanna move forward or that there's this empty space that needs to be filled Okay, will change. And you won't have any question. You won't be confused. It will just be. And the time will be right. But that epiphany and that inner change within you or that person needs to happen first. So my feeling is to tell you not to be afraid of that change. That could be what holds you or the other person back is fear. But they have to be ready to make that change. You cannot make them make that change, right? You can be a catalyst by showing them the way or the right way or where to go. <clears throat> but you cannot change them, okay? Heart. Ooh. Heart talks about being open, knowing forgiveness. Um, being open to compassion, even though it's really hard. Okay. The bees tell me that spirit is working on this situation and spirit is working on you as well as that other person if they're involved. But it's going to take some time. And all the pieces have to work together. You have to be compassionate. Spirit is involved. Um, they have to listen. All of these come together to make this plan develop. But you cannot force it to develop, which is not really what you want to hear. <coughs> Excuse me. But that is what's happening. And from there, with all these parts, these working parts moving together... You will create success. The energy that you should be in right now. I have two cards that fell out. And it's the brown bear and the bee. The brown bear talks about waiting something out. Being strong within your knowledge. Wise. Understanding. Bigger than the situation is what they're saying. Okay. Take time out with yourself. And figure out. Why it is that you don't have faith. In something that you want to bring into your life. Why you don't have the patience. To await something that you truly. Believe is yours. And. Sweet results await, which is the B. And there's the B again, confirmation. Okay. 
work, work, dedication, compassion, faith, faith that what you're doing, no matter how small, is a part of the big picture. Isn't that the B? Very much that's the B. You have to let spirit work. Spirit work to put endings together so you can have new beginnings. But right now, something is in the process of ending or releasing itself so you can start anew. And you just have to have patience and work through it and believe. And let's pull some love cards. You deserve love. You deserve that thing that you want. You deserve that feeling that you want to receive from another. And as long as you have the faith, the gall, the, the viewpoint, you'll get there. And it's so interesting because I feel like what you want is the focus of the day. You know, like it is the focus. But you just have to keep holding on to that energy so it knows where to come. It's almost like they're they're showing me like a string and 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 you're pulling the string towards you with faith. True love, true love is coming to you. It is, but it just needs time to build and it needs time to be real. True love doesn't, doesn't just fall out of the sky. It has to be built. Any relationship book, any marriage pamphlet, any counselor will tell you it has to be built. And that's what's happening here. Give your relationship a chance. Do not give up quite yet, Capricorn. Even though you feel like you want to give up, it's just so much going on. You don't know if it's worth it. They're just saying that to give your relationship a chance. Give it some time to develop into something. I mean, you're just really at the beginning. Even if you're going back, you're at the beginning. It's not going to take off right at the beginning. All right, Capricorn. So thank you so much for listening. I will see you for the next half of the month and the new moon and full moon readings. I love you so much. Love and light to you and yours. Bye-bye.